create a fake gel effect in Photoshop. Go into gradient and create a gradient. With this gradient, set it at zero. And then choose the color of your gradient. For this one, I am going to choose red. And I'll click OK there. We can move this gradient, but I'll show you how to do that later on. Click OK. Then go to normal and go to color. And you'll see that it affects that side. Next, copy that up, Control and J, and click the gradient, click in the colour, and we will change this colour to green. This time we're going to set the angle to 180 degrees and then click OK. Go in here and then go select subject, and from that select subject, copy it up, Control and J. From here above the background, create a new blank layer and flood fill that blank layer in black. If you want to move your gradient at all, double click in the gradient and you now have the option to move the gradient and change the angle. I'll move this one slightly and I can pull it across there or take it back. It just depends on the effect you are seeking. I'm going to click OK. From this black layer, create a new layer above that, choose a white brush, take the size up, Paint in there and paint in there, and that takes on the effect of the gradients above. If you want to isolate the gradients to your subject, we can take away both of these layers, and if you hold down Alt, click there, move up to the top layer, hold down Alt, and click there, it isolates the gradients to your copied subject. So that you don't move your copied subject, Click the background layer, click that layer, and link them together. Again, you can still go in and move the angle to, of the gradients to whatever suits your needs. Once you've done that, finally go up to the adjustments layer, create a levels, and then adjust the levels to what you want. I would click and lock the levels to the gradients and this layer above.